All right. The time has come for our annual HFFL award ceremony. So in case you don't know, we've got a fantasy football league here at Hiawatha Church. It's got 36 teams in it, but it's diff it's three different leagues, three separate leagues. Um, a lot of guys that you might know playing in these leagues, like some of these guys. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty good season for uh, for everyone involved. That's that's Dan, Dan Emerson and Dan Emerson there as Batman and Robin. Um, and uh, many many uh, twists and turns on the season. So before uh, before I hand out the. Uh, that is Photoshop. That's. <laughs> what he does on the weekends. Um, before we hand out the actual hardware, I've got a few uh, extra awards that we hand out. I've got certificates for these guys. Uh, looking around the room, some of these guys aren't here, so I'll, I'll be getting these to them uh, later on. But we've got, let's start with Comeback Player of the Year. This is always a fun one to look back on our, on our statistics. This year, the player is Ben Fink. Woo. That's right, he's not here, but still cheer. Yay! Woo! Now, back in the 2018 season, he finished in 12th place in his league with a 3 and 10 record. But that meant that he got the second overall pick in this year's draft, and he selected Christian McCaffrey, which is a pretty good pick. Then he followed that up in the second round with George Kittle, so he's doing really well. Third round, he drafted Antonio Brown. Not, not a great pick, unfortunately, but. He still managed to finish seven and six and sneak into the, the playoffs. He was the four seed, but once he got to the playoffs, it was game on because he averaged 124.6 points per game in the playoffs and he rolled all the way to a Super Bowl win in his league. So Ben Fink, pretty, pretty incredible comeback this year. Moving on, let's talk about the back-to-back -back reward. This is a new one. So, the top six teams in each league make the real playoffs. The bottom six teams go into a consolation bracket that we refer to as the Toilet Bowl Championship. And if they win that bracket, they'll get promoted to the upper league for the next year, even though they didn't make the playoffs. So you could be in last place, win out in the, in the consolation Toilet Bowl playoffs, and still get promoted to our upper league, uh, along with the top three teams in that league. Now, we actually have someone in the room! Who has won the toilet bowl two years in a row? Oh, Let's pop this set. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to this. Bob finished, Bob finished the regular season three and ten, which meant that he entered the toilet bowl bracket as the 11 seed. But he proceeded to win three straight games against some actually pretty tough opponents and ascend to the throne. <laughs> that, was a, that was a plus four playoff performance, which was the best in the HFFL this year. Nobody else improved their seed four slots in the playoffs. And he, he averaged 98.6 points per game, perfectly normal. 98.6. Second straight toilet bowl championship in the League of Champions. You get to, to stay. Incredible. Just incredible. I tend to think it's almost harder to win that one than the actual trophy to win the title bowl. There's a lot. One, one loss and you're out. I have a special award for someone who's also not in the house today, but this is a, the nuclear option award. This one's, it got a little badly burned, but it's still going to be okay. Um, he's not here, but we're going to celebrate a man who uh, is named Tom McComas. And some of you in our league know what's going to happen now. So Tom had a very, very bad start to his season, and he announced in his league chat that he was, quote, firing his entire team. And it gave everyone in the league heart palpitations because we didn't know what this meant. Here's what happened. These are the players that he dropped in week 11. Calvin Ridley, Adam Thielen, Tariq Cohen, Curtis Samuel, Brian Hill, Tom Brady, Stephon Diggs, James White, Greg Wilson, James Conner, and DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, his team was terrible. But he opted to uh, go ahead. He renamed his team the Overpaid Prima Donnas. He dropped all those players. And you know what happened next? Waiver wire frenzy. And a lot of emails to the commissioner saying, can he do that? And I was like, he did it, I guess. So... Calvin Ridley got picked up for 33 waiver dollars. Thielen, 73. Greg Olson, 17. James Conner, 24. And Stephon Diggs, $31 off the waiver wire. It shook up a lot of stuff. Even so, 
Tom actually managed to win the final game of the regular season and improve his team to 3-10. and <laughs> And win a game in the toilet bowl bracket over the ninth place team, who incidentally was the team that picked up Stefan Diggs. <laughs> in that game, Tom's quarterback was Gardner Minshew II, <laughs> who outscored Russell Wilson. <laughs> Tom lost in the second round, but I mean, the nuclear option almost worked. I, I, I don't know. So Tom, he's going to get this award. It's, I'll find him on Sunday, I guess. <laughs> Unless it disintegrates before then. It was wild. All right, let's go to the real, the real stuff here. Premier League champion, here he is. It's Ben Fink. Ben Fink won the Premier League Championship. This will be his trophy. One of, the, one of our lower leagues, but he'll be promoted to the uh, to the League of Champions next year if he wishes. So I will find him and give him this on Sunday. We have an elite league champion, also not here tonight, but we'll celebrate. Hyatt Harper. Yeah. World now Packers man. This is uh, this is Hyatt's second championship. So he joins a, a very a very small group of guys who have won it twice in a row. So good for him. We'll give him a trophy and let's, let's give it up. League of Champions champion, it's Caleb Zimmerman. Come on up. You gotta be really careful with this because it's, it's very, very much glued. <laughs> There you go. So, hey, Caleb, hey, Caleb. Hey, how, how did you do it? Uh, I just channeled my inner fantasy football, and I also won the pentathlon. Yeah, yeah. So, if our chili wins tonight. You say our. Well, I don't know. Ben, did you win? Ben paired up with another guy in the room, who shall remain nameless. Did Alan manage your team too? No. Oh. Nice. But uh, I think it, I'm going for the Hiawatha Triple Crown. So it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I, uh, I always remember Caleb. I believe it was maybe your first year in the H F F L. You drafted while on your honeymoon. This really did happen. Yeah. So I mean, it's only it was only a matter of time. There you go. That's your uh, your three winners for the Iowa Fantasy Football League this year. I have been Caleb.